All right, guys, we're starting to vlog a little late. Becky's been at work all day, even on a Sunday. And today's Sunday. I know you guys are going to see this Monday, but today is Sunday. And she worked all day. She got 90% of that wooden floor down. I'll show it to you tomorrow. Um, other than that, yeah, we're getting a lot of rain. I don't know, you know, a lot of rain today here. Crazy. Anyway, when she comes out, I'll get her on here. Welcome to vlog 219. And there she is. She's got a little on the front of her pants. Hey, hon. I was trying to figure out the nicest way to put that. <laughs> Welcome to vlog 219. <laughs> Leave it to a mom to notice something like that. <laughs> welcome, I've seen it. Hi. Welcome to vlog two, and Andrew, welcome to vlog 219, people. I was just telling everybody we didn't vlog much today because you worked your butt off all day. All right, guys, peace Ooh. out. We'll be back. Uh. Oh, but what we do vlog today is interesting because Becky, I don't know if she knows, but she got two new geckos. Uh, three new geckos. Three new geckos. Five. So obviously Becky. Oh, okay. It? Peace out. Number 12s came out. These guys are stunning. Holy crap. These are stunning looking albinos. Man. And. And I'm going to show you. Hold on. Remember number 12s? Uh, sorry, guys. And eggs number 11 hatched. They are also stunning looking animals. It took three deagle balls to kill a turkey. So gorgeous looking. Serious nugget business is my job. So, I'm going to move the fires and the normals, these fires and normals, into the other room. And I'm going to move. Here we go. These fires over to the other room. So far, these are two that we are definitely keeping. So we are going to go from there. I'll be back. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, let me tell you guys a few things first here. Um. I apologize for the short vlog today, once again, due to the fact that, uh, like I said, Becky worked really hard today. Very busy person today. Um, oh, she may be going to lay eggs. So we'll leave her to her business, huh? Let me see this girl here. She's right back there. i got to get her a nest box. Guys, remind me in the comments down below to get a, the nest boxes going for both of these girls. This freaking retake over here, man, is going completely crazy. I don't know why she got so cage aggressive so all of a sudden. I mean, it's just nuts. I'm going to feed her again. I've been feeding her, like, unbelievable amounts of food, thinking that she's hungry or something, but I don't know. Completely crazy. But we still love her. Doesn't matter. All right, guys, when I go over here and set this up, I'll, I'll get back to you guys, okay? Be right back. I have to clean this cage. And there's one over there. I got a, that one there is the one where Andrew wants to keep. Um, like I said, them are our keepers. These eggs here that are in this incubator here, we are incubating for to be males. 
so hopefully you know we get some males out of it huh I don't know if that egg's gonna make it but it's still not it's still got veins and stuff in it so I'm gonna keep that one right there I'll keep them in there uh, so like I said I'm sorry about the short vlog today um, other than that there ain't too much going on around here um, yeah, I got to get this trash can out today. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. What can I show you guys that's pretty cool? Pretty cool. You want to see an aggressive? Huh? Here we go, Western hog nose. Try to feed her. Uh, what do you think? Yeah? Alright. We'll feed her. Can I eat? What is that? Hello, guys. Huh? I don't The cutest little hog nose snakes ever. You got a lot of crap on him. Yeah, so let's the chips off there. touch him while he's eating. Sometimes you have to. Let me move on to the next one. Here we go. Another one of the cutest little hognose snakes ever. So, again, like, comment, share, subscribe, share the love. You know, and also, I'm going to keep repeating myself all the time. Hold on a minute, guys. Hold on, I got to get my... I got to get something. Hold on. Let me see. I can keep you guys in focus while I get this. I'll try. Sorry about that, guys. But my spina bifida keeps me from standing for long periods of time because of the back. Anyway, like I was saying, uh... Help out a fellow herper in need. If you can help somebody, it'll make you feel better. Trust me. I want to thank everybody for going over to Slashmaster 1989's too and subscribing to him, getting him to his goal before his birthday in a couple days here. Um, yeah. So tell me what you guys think of these little hognos, huh? Don't forget about our giveaway. So. Alright. I got another one over here I'm going to feed here in a second. Just so you guys know. It's coming. Alright guys. I'm going to leave her alone. I'll be back. I'm, I'm going to try to get her up to size so I can produce some azantics, some toffees, some toxics, condas and all. It would be pretty interesting, huh? Alright guys, I'll be back. That is a first for me. That's sort of a slight wrap, but I know she's not wrapping it. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Kind of strange looking. Anyway, here, here's what I got to talk to everybody about now. All right. I know everybody's got their favorite snakes in their collection and stuff like that. I'm going to tell you what my favorites are. My favorites are the hognose. I got all these ball pythons, but the, and I got the reed tick over there, but the hognose is by far my favorite of all the snakes. Wait, we're talking about favorite snakes? Yeah. Black, Black Mamba. Yeah, okay. I'm talking you, about ones in your collection. Oh, can you get me one for my collection? Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Why? <laughs> no. Why? And because, anyway, um, what I was saying is the, the, the hognose is by far my favorite in my collection. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love, I have a soft spot for the ball pythons and the Burmese pythons and the reticulated pythons. But these are definitely my favorite. Now... My true question for everybody, now you guys are going to love this question, 
what is your favorite that you have in your collection? And if it's if you only have ball pythons, uh, what's your favorite reptile in your collection, I should say? And if you only have ball pythons, which ball python is your favorite? If you can name it. Sometimes people can. I could never name, you know. But um, Becky's are definitely the geckos. Her favorite things in the world are these geckos, man. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy that, she, you know, she is so into these geckos, it's amazing. But again, today, like I said, she worked her butt off today. She works very hard, so if she wants to enjoy her geckos, I'll do everything in her power to get her more. Um, now, another question I have for you. Is there any dream snake or reptile you want in your collection? If you have a dream, like a, a, a like what's your dream animal? What would it be? Now, mine was a, a tuatara, but I truly, truly, truly want eastern indigos. But then again, I think the breeding eastern indigos, you have to get some kind of special permit to breed eastern indigos. But then on top of all that, I like, uh, I really like, um, black tail kribos and yellow tail kribos i would not mind having them in my collection because if i got them in my collection i'd be extremely happy and then i could go on forever <laughs> my dream python to have in my collection is black headed pythons my dream colubrid would be the indigo snakes okay does that help out any i guess my dream, um, I don't know, I, I want to, I would love to have a, a Courier's Dwarf Cayman also. I mean, I can go on forever because if, if, if a reptile comes my way, you know, I've been like this since I was a little kid. I would dream to have a black mamba. Yeah, well, you got to move from this state for one and for another, not because you can't have venomous in this state. Well, you can't have that type of that type of venomous, I guess. Like, oh, 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 she's gonna come up and get more food. I got to put the lid on her because she will grab onto your finger so fast, and I ain't about to dig her out of my finger. Well, pull her off of my finger. I mean. I've heard of a few people today having to do that, but that's okay. Anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe, and tell me all the answers to them questions for me. I want to know what, what your dream python is, what your dream colubrid is, dream reptile is, all of that. Yeah, I want to know. Like I said, my dream colubrids are going to be indigo snakes, dream pythons, blood, uh, not blood pythons, but black-headed pythons. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what though, my, uh, I'm going to get blood pythons again back into my collection. I had a whole bunch of them and then, you know, we did all kinds of moving and stuff. So I kind of let them go a little bit, but yeah, so thank you for subscribing, like, comment, share, subscribe, peace out. And, uh, yeah. We love you guys. My favorite morph ever of all reptiles ever is the pied. I have been fascinated with the pied since they first came out. And I remember when they first came out because I was in the hobby then. I was also in the hobby when they first came out with the first albino Burmese, first albino reticulated python, first albino ball python. I've been around a long time, guys. <laughs> anyway. Peace.